Hi guys, I'm Angela Clark. Thanks for joining me. I have set myself the challenge to read as many of the Richard and Judy Autumn 2017 book club reads as possible. And on today's list, I've read The Betrayals by Fiona Neal. And I will read you the back of the book. None of them would forget that week on the wild Norfolk coast. Best friends, Rosie and Lisa's families had always been inseparable. But that summer, Lisa had an affair with Rosie's husband, Nick. And now, after years of silence, she sends Rosie a letter begging for help. A letter which exposes dark secrets. Daughter Daisy's fragile hold on reality begins to unravel. Teenage son Max blames himself for everything that happened that long, hot summer. And Nick must confront his own version of events. There are four sides to this story. Who will you believe? Now, I have to say, when I picked this book up, I haven't read any of Fiona Neal's um, work before. I thought it was going to be a psychological suspense novel. Um, that's probably because there are faceless women on the cover. It's dark and um, the women are kind of facing away. It is not. Um, and also, I read a lot of crime thrillers, so I'm kind of prepped for that. Um, it is not a, a psychological suspense novel, but it is an incredibly taut novel non nonetheless and very tense throughout it. I actually think this book is about memory and how we all remember things differently and the impact that those memories have on us. Indeed, Nick, one of the main characters, actually specialises in memory for his job and writes about it throughout. It's an incredible character study of four different characters, all related, mum, dad and two children, and how they see events and what happened over that one fateful summer and everything circles back to that. It's really extraordinary and I think very clever that um, Fiona Neal has managed to make these characters so independent so they all take different things from what happened, they all have different impacts upon them. There are a lot of um, themes that run through this that are cleverly explored. Daisy suffers terribly from OCD um, and I think that is really beautifully um, and sensitively covered throughout this book. Though I have to say at points the way that Fiona Neal wrote her character and how anxious she actually was I had to go and have some deep breaths afterwards to calm myself down when I finished reading reading it. Um, the mother in the family is a cancer specialist, breast cancer, um, so there are elements uh, around the story that, that look at that, that look at the end of life. Um, Neil obviously um, has uh, the memory thing that he talks about. Max is studying to be a doctor. This is a well-researched, very realistic, very clever novel that really propels you to the end. I really, really, really wanted to know what was going to happen. And I think it's no spoiler to say that you feel like something bad is coming. There are some hints throughout the book that something has not been resolved, that's not been addressed, is going to be by the end page. And it is in a way that I didn't expect. I enjoyed this book and I think I'm going to go back and actually read more of Fiona Neal's work because I found it very fascinating the way that she brought these characters to life, how realistic they were, how they felt completely um, like real fully formed people and how they interact in that way. I think she's a very, very clever writer. I really enjoyed it. Let me know if you've read The Betrayals by Fiona Neal or if you've read any of the other books on the Richard and Judy Autumn 2017 book list and let me know what you think of this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it, do subscribe and I'll see you soon.